Hi everybody, it's Tamara from Etc. Eyes, and I have finally finished my latest journal. Uh, I started this before Christmas, and now it's um, been a few weeks. It took me a while to get around to binding it and um, finishing up the last little bits of it, but I think it's pretty much ready to share with all of you. Um, so this is three really big fat signatures. Um, I didn't count the pages, but I think there's at least at least ten double-sided, um, you know, folds <laughs> in each signature. So there's a lot in here, basically, and lots of um, pockets and all kinds of things. Um, as you probably remember from me telling you before, this is some vintage um, gift wrap that I used on the outside and so that sort of set the tone. I wanted to do two things with this with this one. Um, I wanted to go a little bit darker than I normally do and uh, I wanted to use up the loads and loads of ephemera <laughs> that I have been making uh, over the past few months. Um, so I got a few things in here but I still have a mountain of stuff to to um, use up. So let's take a peek inside and you can check out my latest. Um, this is just a regular tie uh, closure and this is some vintage seam binding that I had in my sewing stash. Um, I like it because it's sort of, well it matches these flowers on the front um, and it has a bit of that sari silk feel to it. Okay. Um, so I didn't do any pockets or anything fancy on the inside because I love, love, love this paper and it was really hard for me <laughs> to cut into it. Um, but I thought this was the perfect journal to do it with. So it has some butterflies and birds and bird cages and, um, some sparkle in it. It's just gorgeous. Um, and the signatures are made with some pretty... Uh, heavyweight um, scrapbooking paper and they each have pockets on the front and back of each signature and um, because they're only one-sided I did a little bit of um, stenciling as well and so you'll remember um, this little project this was the um, peekaboo paper pad or the pretty peek peekaboo paper pad so I put one of those in here and lots of blank pages as usual. I've got a lovely botanical page. I tried to pull um, not only dark but um, some purples. I tried to stick with the purple and deep blue um, throughout so this is some thistle I believe. And all of these blank pages, I hope you can see they have, um, they've, these are the copies of my coffee stain papers that have the doily imprints on them. And we've got a bag. This was um, a really, really popular post on Instagram. I'm always surprised what's popular and what isn't. Um, but these were just, I just took book pages and cut out some sort of doily designs on my silhouette and I didn't know what to do with it so I stuck it on here as a um, decoration and I've also got some stenciling on this bag and uh, in one of my most recent videos I told you about how to get these glassine type bags for free so you can go back and find that post. Um, this is a tag that opens out and you've got a full page to journal on. That's a nice little goodie in there. This is from a book. Um, I do lots of puzzles by this artist. Thomas Kincaid, that's who it is. <laughs> um, yeah, so I put one of the pages in here and let's keep going. This is from um, some napkins, just a little add of something, also from napkins, a nice little pocket, or tuck spot I guess that is, and so we got it on the other side as well, and then this is just a little um, page from one of my little botanical books, and more blank pages, yeah, there's, so now we're all over on the other side. 
the other side of the bag, doily, and so on, and a little card that I decoupaged in the pocket. And then we go into the second signature, which is, again, quite dark and sort of that deep plum. And um, this, this I picked up at a craft show. This is somebody's business card. I just thought it was gorgeous. Diane LaRouche Ellard. Um, she does some beautiful paintings. Um, yeah, so I grabbed her business card because I thought, oh, that'll go perfect in my book. And I suppose I could... Um, cover the back, but I'm okay with it just like that. Um, and what else do we have? This is a page, oh, this is from a book called The Literary Gardener, so it has some beautiful um, images, and then it has, like, quotes and things from books, and these are some lilacs, scalloped edge, um, that's from a embroidery book. And some more. I love the, the, you know, decoupaging napkin onto grid or lined paper, and then all the lines show through. I love that. And this, this is going to actually sit right in here. I just want to be careful because I just glued this, this down. I don't know if you can see it. It's sort of a transparent envelope. And then this is from, I showed uh, you guys before Mrs. Delaney's Flowers that little booklet of um, postcards that I have and I like them because they've got that dark background on them some handmade paper that I made in the summertime and yep yeah, nothing in the middle and if you watched my last video you know I used um, this time I used some embroidery floss for my binding and um, so that gives a little bit of color from the front pulled through. There's one of those belly bands that I made a while ago. You can put something behind there. And then um, just some trim. And I think is that... Oh no. I thought that might be a pocket, but that's glued right down as a border. That's sewed down. That's sewed down. That's from that same paper pack. Um, this sort of nature theme. And... Ooh, look at that one. I love that. <laughs> Uh, a little corner tuck. These were just, I picked these up at a thrift store. They had a whole bag full of all kinds of little embellishments, and that was in there. And I know this should be covered, but I thought this made a great tuck as well. And then just some little tags that um, came from a little tag pack. And then we move into the third signature, which is a little bit lighter and brighter. And here's one of my little... Um, guitar string envelopes that has been recovered. Or no, that's not what that is. I made that envelope from scratch. Oh, and there's something inside of it too. <laughs> uh, I've made so much I forget sometimes where it all comes from. Nice big um, hinge there and a poem. I like when you can read the whole poem. Sometimes I can't do that just because the poems are long, but you can get both poems on there images. These are those little um, recipe pocket cards that I made a while ago, so I found a use for those. Just stuck them right on the page. Lots of decorative pages, lots of, lots of stenciling, and um, if you saw my most recent thrift shop haul, you saw that I got this great um, black lined paper, and I also got a little coloring book. I think it was like 25 cents or something crazy. It was really cheap. Um, and I, I like how this just sort of pops and stands out right in the center of the signature. And, and then of course you can, if you have the right kind of gel markers, you can write on there, but you could also just put photos or something on there too. Some butterflies stenciled. Um, this was an envelope. This is part of that ephemera pack that I picked up. And again, that was from the thrift shop. Thrift shop and I think it was like a dollar or two for this huge bag of stuff. Um, so I had this envelope with this card that goes inside. So I covered the envelope with um, a poem. And then I put the hinge on and then I um, stamped it. So I thought that was kind of cute. And you remember these sort of placeholder things that we made. 
a while ago. And that's just from another book. And then another side pocket with a postcard in it. A little tuck spot. And then uh, I showed this on Instagram a while ago. This has all kinds of stuff going on. This has a pocket and a belly band and a removable postcard. And then uh, this little hinge sort of opens up. And then you've got all this big envelope that you can store stuff in with a scalloped edge. And then I used one of my giant tags. And um, this was white and I did some stamping on it, but the stamping didn't turn out the way I wanted. So I just recovered it with um, a napkin on the back, which is a little busy, but it'll work for now. There we go. And then that's the end. And then this is some more of that gorgeous sparkly paper. Um, I tried to make sure to really cover the inside spine so it's got black in there so you can't see anything, uh, any of the raw edges or anything. And um, there we go. That's my the dark side of, of the botanical world, I guess. I'm not really sure what, or I don't normally name my my um, journals or anything like that, but uh, I don't know what I'll call this one. We'll see. Um, so that's it. Anyways, that's my latest journal. Um, I'm having a little bit of a hard time getting back into paper crafting after I took a little break for Christmas, but um, this helps remind me of all the, the fun that I have making all this stuff. So um, hopefully I will get started on my next project right away. So stay tuned. You can follow me over on Instagram. Um, I'm Prairie Town Girl over there for my paper craft stuff. Um, and you can like and subscribe here too if you want to. Thank you very much everybody. Have a great day and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.